Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and I'm out here with our long-term 2022 Ford Maverick and my 2019 Suzuki V-Strom 650 to figure out something that I've wanted to know the whole time I've had this truck. Can you fit a full-size motorcycle in the bed of the Ford Maverick? For a quick overview, we've owned this 22 Maverick 2.0-liter turbo FX4 for about a year and a half at this point. It's got about 18,000 miles on it, and we've really enjoyed it. We've done all sorts of things. We've towed heavy with it, we've done road trips, we've done off-roading, on-roading. It's been a great little truck, and we've got plenty of videos on it. So if you do want to see more on our Maverick, check the link in the description. Shout out Briarwood Appraisals, that's Alyssa's business right there because this is her work truck at the end of the day, but we get to take it out and have a little fun with it as well. So if you want to see that, check the links in the description. And if you want to see the links to anything we use, most of what you're going to see is just this bed rug, bed rug right here that you can see. We've been putting through its paces, it's held up well. We've got an affiliate link to that in the description. I actually had to take the tonneau cover off. Some of you who are familiar with our truck will know we've got a hard cover that we roll up and, and live on here. but after I do this bike video, I'm actually going to see if that 2023 Polaris Sportsman 570 fits in the bed. And I did some measurements and it should fit, but it wasn't going to fit with the rails of our tonneau cover on. So I took those off. It's a naked bed right here, aside from the bed rug. And we're going to get started here. So first things first, if you're going to load a motorcycle into the bed of a truck, you want a few things. One, you want a ramp. This is literally the cheapest ramp that I got from Harbor Freight. It's about 80 bucks. It's a motorcycle ramp. It'll hold about 800 pounds. The V-Strom 650 should weigh about 500, just over 500 as equipped with some fluids and everything. If I had the cases on, it might be a little bit more, but should be about 500 pounds. And the other thing you're gonna wanna have is a friend. So I've got my buddy Dakota here. You really don't want to try loading motorcycles in the bed of a truck yourself. If you're experienced, especially if you're doing something like dirt bikes, I'm, I'm sure you could take a 280 pound dirt bike and just roll it up here and, and get it into the bed just fine. I'm sure that's fine. But if you're loading something big like a sport bike, Harley, or something like this adventure bike, find someone, find someone on the street, get a buddy, something like that, and have them help you. So we've already got this ramp tied up here and it's, it's positioned just like that. It's pretty firm. You can see, you can walk on this. This tailgate should be able to hold. I've, I've seen differing numbers. I've heard 400 in this flat position and 500 in the half position and then I've heard vice versa. Either way, I know that's a dynamic load weight, so it should have no problem holding the V-Strom 650. And I also know the bike is clearly not gonna fit in here uh, without the tailgate down. So I'm expecting the front of the front wheel of the bike to go right up against the bulkhead here and then the back of the bike to sit right on the tailgate, which should be totally fine. That should only be about 300 pounds or so, should be well under the tailgate's weight. Last thing is I'm not actually going to strap the bike down because I don't need to take the motorcycle anywhere right now. But if you do go ahead and strap it down, you're going to want something like this. This is going to allow you to put a toe strap, a ratchet strap through here, and then you can have this on wherever is best for your bike. Some people say on the handlebars right through there. Some people would say something like the crash bars. There are places you do and do not want to load a motorcycle. This isn't exactly a how to load a bike in general into a truck. This is more specific to the Maverick. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Dakota, if you wanna come on over here, I'm going to get the bike nice and lined up. Dakota's gonna position himself kinda on the back. And I'm actually going to kinda rock it. Now, if you were on just a perfectly flat surface, obviously you'd need a little bit more encouragement to get it up the ramp. I am fortunately able to use something like this little loading bay. So I'm gonna kinda Get it positioned just like so, nice and straight. And then I'm going to step off. Dakota's gonna grip the back of the bike right there and he's gonna provide the pushing force and I'm gonna provide the balancing force. And we're gonna go right on up. You ready? Sounds good. Okay, go ahead. Up, bike's in neutral. Keep going, keep going. All right, there's the front. Are we on the truck? On the truck. Okay, Dakota's gonna keep holding it there. And look at that, the V-Strom 650 fits. And we're going to uh, remove this ramp. Get a little personal with Dakota here. Take it right out from under. <laughs> okay, and you can see here, we've got not a ton of space. I'm not super comfortable with, uh, with how far out on the tailgate this is, but the V-Strom is a little bit longer of a bike. 
so you can know that you could at least get away with taking it around town as long as you definitely make sure that it's it's pushed right up to the front here you can see no worries about anything hitting the front glass or anything like that and then i would take it and the maverick's got plenty of tie down hooks i got one right there one right there and i'd be able to secure the bike you can also get um, nets that come around and help corral the bike in i might want to do something like that because i will actually have to travel cross country with the maverick in the back of the bed and i'm curious if we could get away with doing some sort of diagonal load and allow the bike to be a little bit more on there but i know then you're going to be dealing with a lot of other difficulties huh all right that's uh that's probably pretty stable what do you think does it doesn't feel like it's gonna like fall back at you or anything no, right nothing. yeah huh okay all right so now because we are at an incline it will be a little bit tougher to get the bike back out but dakota is going to do the same thing in reverse provide the the um kind of holding for the bike to make sure it doesn't run away from us and i'm going to try to just there we are back it down i'm going to give him some braking assistance and he's also going to tell me if i'm uh, as long as like i'm staying straight And, left a little. All right. and there we go nicely done man so you can fit something like a mid-size adventure bike in the bed of the ford maverick now stay tuned after a few months or so uh, depending on my comfortability level with how that looked and how it was resting i will actually be traveling across the country with my v-strom in the bed of this truck so uh <laughs> Stay, don't usually ask you all to subscribe or anything like that, but if you want to see that, genuinely subscribe because in a few months we'll find out how well it actually works on a trip. And if you do want to see how well that Polaris 570 Sportsman fits in the back, uh, I don't know, check the link in the description. Maybe I'll put that in there as well. But thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Maverick, the bike, the four-wheeler, or anything else here you saw, check the link in the description, and we will see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. Thank mm -hmm. you.